Hello and welcome back to Europa in Avalis 4. We are about to attack Constantinople. We have moved the men in position. They have no leader of their army. We are crossing one river, but we have a leader. So this should go well. Their allies have come in. They're not, they don't have full morale. This should be easy. Oh, forgot to move my boats. That could have gone badly. I'm moving all the boats to the street. Oh, they got leader just before the fight. Is there a two shock leader? Because we've got minus one, we effectively have a two shock leader. So we have equal leaders. We have more men. We start with more morale, but they have more tactics. We also have more cavalry. So we should get a bonus from there. Oh, that's going to be close. Tin and Lipsick. Um... They might actually attack us. Little line. Sorry, Kuma, you became too much of a hassle. Right. This fight is very close. I think we're going to win it. Just didn't wipe out all of his men, but they are retreating to our province. So we will attack in here and just wipe them out. Didn't wipe them out because we didn't kill them within a month. Gonna merge them and have them sit here. Those are Crete's men. Where did they, where did they come from? Did they join this fight? I don't remember that. Okay. Anyway, Constantinople. We are going to detach two men, and then we're going to move the rest to Edirne. Maybe I need to get. We'll give um three cav as well. Actually, whichever side has the Cav is going to have too many men. We're at max relations with Roma. We need to get to 125. I think we can do this. We're going to maintain Diplomat. What could we do? We could send him a gift. Not quite. We need to get 10. We could offer military access. They don't want it. Give subsi subsidies. They probably won't want that. They don't want that alliance yet. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yes, yeah, sending gift would be the way to do it. We just need to send a lot of money. We'll keep them uh, sitting there until we're ready. So, Zemplin peaced out. No, Sura. Surad's pieced out resentment. Okay. That's fine. Perfect, we got our cores. Unrest is now pretty low over there. Nothing's gonna fire, I don't think. Nah, six years. That six years future me's problem. Okay, Hunyad is requesting you come to their aid in the Marisian conquest of Torrental against Varsid. They're allied with Moldova and Lombardia. No, thank you. We have lost nearly all of our allies. <laughs> but they are committing suicide, so I suppose it's their own fault. I would like some more allies, though. That'd be nice. Like Roma? <laughs> hmm. Maybe once our army gets back to strength, Roma will say yes. Who else would we want? We would like Quasir, but they're going to say no because we're allied with someone else that they don't like. I think. It's the last time. Well, now it's not saying that, but that's fine. So Kudzia is actually a really good choice. Who have we got religion-wise who are the same as us? Shia. Some down here, but they're all kind of... fractured. Are you Shia? No, but you do, you're you friendly to us. It could be a good choice. 
We might want to keep an eye on them. See if they survive. If they survive, then they're a great choice for us. I don't suppose they've changed their mind about wanting an ally. Plant. Uh, no. Okay, lose stability or gain war exhaustion. Okay, stability costs. A lot. But, uh, okay, we need to gain the war exhaustion. We'll just pay it down. Stability costs way more than uh, buying down war exhaustion. Okay. Oh, there's Hunyan's men. Yeah, just come deal with this war. Come on. Just walk over. No? Okay. Actually, us being in a war where we have military access through Moldova is really good, because we could, theoretically, just walk through like this. Attack. Um, I think I'm going to set this for Crete. I'm just going to say, like, or Corfu. I'm going to say, that's your objective. Get to it. Do it. Right. We could possibly buy some more ships. We do have more naval force limit now. Get some more barks or something. Just make ourselves look even stronger. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Oh, okay. So this war's over. Worser will not null all treaties. Fine. They will cede one province and nine gold. Oh, and we finished our thing with Roma. Why? Oh, because they were in the same war as us. We got fought to the end. For one tick. That's perfect. For one tick, we had fought to the end and in a war together. Which allowed us to get to what we needed to get to. That's pretty cool. Uh, claim a rival's province. A recover abysmal prestige. We can do that. Ganja will seed lots to Zanjin. Ganja will end it, their overlordship. Okay. Or Zanjin, someone we want to be an ally? They are Shia. They are nearby us. Why couldn't we ally them? Because we're in an offensive war. Apart from that, they'd say yes. They do have rebels. But I'm okay with them having rebels. Oh, they were just eaten. Van is gone. Roma want military access. 100% you can have it. Have your military access. Who are they in a war with? Varez and Moldova. Moldovia. Okay. So they're attacking both. Oh, this must be Hunyad's other war. Wait. No. This one? Oh, that's the war we said no to. That was it. Yeah. Hunyad, you can have military access. That's absolutely fine. I kind of want my alliance back with them after they uh, finish the war. Because they're a very nice. It's very nice to have lots of allies. What do we do? Oh, Corfu are attacking. They're actually going to win a fight, I think. Perfect. If they can get Naxos, or at least get Athens back for us, that'd be great. Can I set that as the objective? Go get your own land back. If you, you know, feel like it. Suppose. All their ships now run into our death kind of squad thing here. Uh, we'll keep the diplomatic candidate. We'll get the national unrest. Continue getting their ships dead. We get some prestige for that and killed all their ships. Perfect. Revolt risk. Where? Five years. That's really not an issue. Let's just move down here. Don't know who the enemy are in that in this bit here, but we need to get our ships out of the port. Oh, Constantinople had more ships who have now decided to attack us. Perfect. 
move this. I say we'll keep them in Edirne and we'll move this people over. Like this. And then we'll move back to Constantinople. Okay. Get the people on the boats. And then move them back. And then get them on the boats. And then move them back. Just continually do that. We now have our full army. And now we can attack Naxos in their own land. Yeah, this should be super easy. Now, the question is, where is, like, one, how many boats does everyone have? Okay, so we could probably send our trade ships safely back to actually protect trade. In Constantinople. And how many men do Crete have? It's the next question. Crete have 4,000. We would need more transports if we actually plan on attacking Crete. I don't really want to attack Crete though. I, I mean we could, it's not a major concern of mine. Yeah, I think we want to give Naxos directly to Corfu. Because that will, we won't get as much aggressive expansion. But, I'll go well. Alright, there we go. Kuma took Cartelli as a vassal. That means that we were right in piecing out the war early. Ooh, and Quasi are attacking this really large African nation. That could be fun to watch. If Quasi are start to lose. I think they're going to win it though. AI don't tend to siege until they're already winning. This isn't my experience. They tend to kind of go for killing your army, then sieging. How's this going? It's rebel. 4.5 years. Okay. Broke the walls. Oh, they only have... Oh, they only have one army unit on Crete itself. That's useful information. We could possibly attack them then. Oh yeah, because we saw some walking around. Yeah, there they are. There's the rest of Crete's army. They're exiled and they can't get back because we have total naval super superiority. We'll lose the prestige. I really don't care about our prestige going this low. And yeah, it affects our morale of armies, but it's not that big. Forty-two. Let's just move all of our boats directly on top of Crete right now. Oh. Okay, they, there's a new Holy Roman Emperor. Fine. It's the biggest one in the Holy Roman Empire by the looks of it, so... Probably the choice you would expect. Okay. Sieging. Almost done. We'll move our transports out. For maybe a little bit early. Right, 100 diplomatic power or we'll lose national trade income. We'll lose the national trade income. 100 diplo power is hard to get back. Uh, oh. Go back. Save our transports. I guess I should keep our galleys and our transports in one army. One navy. Okay, so we want the best possible composition we can get. So let's sort by condition. Then we'll ditch... We're only allowed to take five, so everybody who isn't at max condition, I guess, is going away. We go. We'll select this army. Attach them to the boats. Move out into Crete. 
and I will land. Taking us a while to get there. There we go. We do take minus two, but they do only have one troop. So lots of flanking bonuses. Naxos are wanting to peace out. Let's see if we can just give them straight up away to Corfu. Okay, so we want to transfer them to Corfu. Naxos to Corfu. Will cost us 45 Diplo power, but that's fine. We'll take their money. And I think that's it. That's all we can really take. Yeah. Naxos, we'll see Naxos to Corfu. Corfu now like us because we did that. But now the relative power to Liege is stronger, so they don't like us. That's fine. We might also want to give Crete to Corfu, if we can. Because that'll be in range for them to... Yeah, that'll be in range for them to core. And it's just a little bit... It's too far away for us to core. How much would it... How much is it going to... I was wanting to see how much it would cost to make it a core. 260. Okay. Quite a lot of admin points to get Constantinople. I was wondering whether we should go straight into getting the idea group now, but we want to be able to core Constantinople, so we can't do that. What we can do is we can get some more boats. So we got nine barks we can build. I think this is time for a template. Let's go nine barks, nine provinces. That, that's not what I would... No. Stop, stop building. Okay, I thought I was uh, applying the template, which is why that went a little bit off. Right. Do that, save the template, then use it. Perfect. And that'll give us a little bit more trade power. Our trade power in Constant Constantinople will be really, really good. It might even be worth just moving our trade count up until to Constantinople so that we can push everything into it and get that extra bonus for even more money. It would probably be better to do that earlier rather than later. Extra blockade is helping us uh, siege down Crete a little bit quicker. So we can get prestige or we can get lots of money. We'll get the prestige. Our mission is to get our prestige over zero, so it's probably a good idea to get some prestige at some point. Uh, we can convert Edurn, but it's going to take too long. Might as well wait till we have some kind of bonus to it. Lost a bunch of claims, and we lost cast spelling. That's fine. This is looking really good for us right now. Okay, um, wait, is this also Crete? Or is this somewhere else? Oh, this is also Crete, and so is this. Oh, we've got a few provinces to uh, get in Crete then. I had thought that Crete would only be this mainland bit, but I suppose we could give it all to, Con uh, to Corfu. That would be fine, or maybe just the capital. I mean, it is isolated. It would get them further away from Moldova, so that Moldova, so they'd lose that um, alliance. It's fine. I don't know who I denied military access to, actually. I just didn't recognize the name, so I assumed to know. We will kill their navy. Fairly simple. Yup. Dead. Captured one ship, we got an extra transport. I think we can peace out Crete independently now. They wouldn't say yes to giving us this because it's over the current war score. Okay. What we'll park? Add them to the ship. Move them out here. Gain the 
admin points. We can get another idea. We'll go for trade manipula manipulation. That'd be good. And gives us the extra national tax modifier. More money. And now we will land and kill this army. And we're going to keep the candidate again. This will probably be the last time we keep him until we go for like a 6-6. Six, six. Right. Waiting for the landing. And we did it. Cre I would really just like to peace out for that. Very close. I think if we get this bit of land, they'll say yes. No. Nope. Let's half their army and then send the other half... The half our navy and then send the other half to blockade here. Oh, the port's in the Gulf of Cyprus. Okay. Almost blockading. They would not give us it yet, either. Okay. We'll wait. Oh, we got a call for peace. I'm willing to wait through it. I think that we can get what we want out of this war, so I'm going to do that. Because we can get Constantinople. Yeah. And we can probably get Crete. Oh, Ganja is now vassal of Cyrus. Okay. Oh, we're now their new rival. It's not good. They don't want to peace out yet, so we'll just sit here. I wonder, if I take away one galley and then move it over here... No, I only wanted to move one of the galleys. We still have 100% blockade. Now we actually have 100% blockade on. They would give us Crete. Would they? Ah... Uh, they haven't cored this yet, then. Oh no, they have cored it. We just can't give it to anyone else. We would have to take Crete ourselves. And then we could possibly sell it. But I do like the idea of taking it. Worst comes to the worst, we can release it, I think. Can we get war reparations as well? Uh, not quite. What if we don't take the money? Mm, almost. We'll, we'll just take the money. That's what we want. I think this is what we want from the war. Okay. I didn't know. I, th I was wondering why it was still the same thing. It just kind of looked like the same color. Oh, we can core it. We're in coring range. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, let's get these together. And we would like to peace out Constantinople for full annexation. Which is really good. We can now core it. And now we can start moving people around. Once we get these armies together, all well, these navies together. Merge them. Alright, wait, we'll just walk them out. Um, right, we have our new transport fleet. We'll send them to protect trade in Constantinople. Move them to Crete. Let's raise autonomy in Crete and raise autonomy in Constantinople. I know it means we're not getting the most out of our provinces just yet, but it does mean we're also not going to get rebels. And we'll have to harsh treatment down. Right. So let those boats heal. We'll move all the men here back to Constantinople. We actually have a connected borders all the way around now. Ooh. What the... What's been happening to this side of our country? I'll peace out of the war, okay? Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't want you sieging my land. Go away. Ah, oh, right. Prove relations with Corfu. The next thing we want to do is we want to annex them. Because that will give us a lot more connected land over here. And we will be so much stronger. Our naval supremacy is pretty good now. So what we can do is we can take fights with people who can't reach us by land and then just beat them up with our navy and then move our people over slowly and beat them that way and kind of move away from where we are. So we'll have our base here and then we'll kind of send out little missions to fight people further down the coast. And I do like her and our name, our lame, I do like how her name looks now. It's nice and curved. Covers a lot of land. I think this is going to go very, very well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.